Say, Mom and me decided that if we wanted to be right in style, we'd better get one of these here Hail Columbia Happy Land talking machines. Hi, everybody. Well, my wife is gone for the day, and she left me some chores to do, but I decided to shoot a video instead. Um, but I will get to the chores. Like a good husband. Uh, this is a tale of three Edison Home Model E phonographs from my collection. Uh, I don't really know how I happened to get three Edison Home Phonograph Model E's, but I'll probably end up trading one of them with somebody down the road uh, if they're interested. But uh, I want to give you a little uh, background on them. First, let me grab the, uh, see if I can grab one of the handheld lamps here so we can have a little better light as I'm walking around here. This was my first uh, Edison Model E uh, home phonograph. I haven't dusted it, sorry about that. But one of the nice things about the Model E, and I'll try to get in here as best I can, is this nice blue striping, blue and gold striping that Edison put on the uh, on the D's, the E's, and the F's. Isn't that nice? This unfortunately is not a good playing phonograph. Gosh, I bet you I spent, I, I had to replace all the bearings. See right there, that bearing is pop metal and nine chances out of ten you'll find when you find these virgin that bearing that pot metal bearing is swelled up good and tight and they're terrible terrible to try to get out and especially on the Edison homes and triumphs standards a little bit easier but uh, this one here uh, as you can see I have uh, a reducer ring with a model H reproducer in this one this is probably the nicest condition Edison Home Model E that I have. And I'm going to walk around to the second one. This is uh, the second Edison Home Model E that I got. And um, this one's in pretty good shape. Again, this one here, I had to remove the uh, the pot metal bearing. This one plays second best. Has a nice, nice uh, cabinet on it. Model C reproducer. I've got Model C reproducers in, in this one, as well as the one we're going to see next. So there's that one. Now if I don't trip... I'm gonna. Whoa! I'm going to uh, go return to the original one. Interesting story with this one. This one uh, I found at an auction. It was seized up. You know the bearing was seized up. In this one, I had the worst time trying to get this pot metal bearing removed and uh, replaced. I actually did it yesterday. I finally said, you know what, I'm just going to take some time and take care of this little Model E Edison home. And, like I said, it, it probably took me the good part of a day to get the, uh, get the pot metal bearing out of there. But I finally got it out, and this one here is in pretty good shape as well. You can see that uh, the striping is pretty good on it. Decal's pretty good on it. But <laughs> my intention was, because this one here, you know, the cabinet's got a little bit of, you know, a few little tiny issues. And the decal, I mean, the uh, striping is a little bit barked up, but not real bad. And I had such a dickens of a time trying to get the... Uh, the pot metal bearing out of there, I just thought this thing is going to be the worst of my three uh, Edison Home Model E's and I will 
uh, trade or sell this one first. And guess what? I played it and it plays better than all three. Or, you know, it plays better than the other two. You know, this one here looks the nicest, but it plays not so good. I mean, it, it plays okay, but it's got that, um, the warble. You know, not the warble. What am I trying to say? Anyway, it, 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 it's got a, uh, gosh, I'm sorry. I can't think of the word. That's terrible. But anyway, it, it's not pure and, and, uh, smooth so it uh, it has a it has a, a warble to it that's not the right word though anyway so that's what I want to show you and as you can see that I've got the uh, two of my uh, 10 panel signet horns mounted on two of these E's and this one here you think I could find the 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 crane for it I, I got the horn, but I couldn't find the crane anywhere, and I said to heck with it. So with apologies, that one there just is hornless right now until I find the uh, the crane. I actually found half the crane, <laughs> and I couldn't find the uh, the other part of the, the crane. It's, it's around. Anyway, what I want to play for you when we come back is Billy Jones and Ernie Hare with How Do You Do, Everybody? How Do You Do? Let me see here. It's uh, 46.93, and it's uh, Billy Jones and Ernie here with uh, "How Do You Do." It's one of my favorites, and it's a really hard cylinder to find um, on Edison. Uh, you can find it once in a while on Diamond Disc, but the cylinder is like impossible to find. So when we come back, I hope you'll enjoy with me "How Do You Do" by Billy Jones and Ernie Hare. See you in a few. Hi everybody, okay we're back and um, as promised I'm going to play How Do You Do from I believe this is from 1925. I could be wrong and some of my viewers can correct me if I am wrong but I think on my diamond disc I looked it up years and years ago and it was from like 1925. It's a hard cylinder to find, it's a lot of fun. Uh, anybody if you remember uh, or anybody who remembers or likes Billy Jones and Ernie here uh, they were on the radio uh, at this time, and uh, they were uh, just goofballs. They did a lot of comedy skits, and uh, this one is uh, very representative of their material uh, that they broadcast as well as recorded. So here we go. How do you do? From 1925 on the Edison Home Phonograph, one of my three uh, Model E Edison Homes. As always, thanks for stopping in. I hope you enjoy this. Ain't it 
enjoyed it? Billy Jones and Ernie Hare, how do you do? It was neat how they put that Edison fans right at the end there. Anyway, thanks again. <laughs>